But after we got back, then, and I had been on this on the faculty for two and a half years, a little more than that. I think it was in the spring quarter of my third year. That, was just, that would have been in the spring of 1933. Uh, Dr. Wilbur sent word that he wanted to see me, he wanted me to come to his office. And I didn't know what, what he was going to do. He was going to tell me to look for a new job or what. But I went up there, and <clears throat> Dr. Uh, Dr. Ray Lyman Wilbur's office wasn't as big as this room. It was about uh, as long this way. You came in a door right at that corner, and then his desk sat there, and then there was one chair sat here, and it was just about as far from as from that door to mm -hmm. this joint, uh, chair was the size of his office. And his chair and that one chair was all there was in there. And when I came in, he was signing letters. And he looked over, he wore glasses way down on his nose. He looked over the top of his glasses, sit down. <laughs> so I sat down, didn't know what to expect and how long he had me keep sitting there. He finished signing this stack of letters, pushed them up to one side and pushed the bell for Miss Treat to come in and pick them up. Then he turned to me and said, well, Wiggins, you came here when? Fall of 29, didn't you? Yes, sir. Well, we're going to, we're going to make a special case for you that your, your situation was supposed to be reviewed last year, but I was away and Swain didn't want to do anything, so we held you over a year. Says uh, we've reviewed your case. Well, I didn't know what to think. He said we're going to uh, we're going to advance you. No, we're going to give you a turn tenure. Says you you can't be advanced yet, but we'll give you a tenure. He said you got your foot in the door. <laughs> <laughs> he said. Goodbye. <laughs> so I got up and as I, as I went out, started out the door. He said, "Just a minute, Wiggins. Said, You've got tenure here now, and provided you don't get caught stealing horses or sleeping with somebody else's wife, you've got it made." <laughs> you notice I said, "Get caught." <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> that was my first interview with Doctor Ray Lyman Wilbur. <laughs> he was. He was a very interesting individual.